Hey everybody, good morning. It is Valentine's Day. Happy, oh, Valentine's Day, everybody. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Guys, please disregard this messy kitchen. This kitchen is disgusting. Check but this outfit out, y'all. Yeah. Check out the outfit. <laughs> He's a little spiffy dude. Little spiffy. I'm trying to not <laughs> make him look like a fat kid. Oh, he's a fat His little kid. button's popping. His buttons are gonna be off by the end of the day. Hey, buddy. Uh, Say happy Valentine's Day. This little patch is supposed to go on his elbow, but I guess the <laughs> sleeves are too long. <laughs> Look at you. Uh, our brother-in-law and his wife decided that they wanted to take Asher for a sleepover today. Like we were gonna go as a family to a restaurant and eat. It wasn't gonna be too far from the house since we knew that um, we probably wouldn't be able to take a long car ride or anything, being that it was gonna be a little later in the day. But um, after they said they wanted to take them, we started looking for regular restaurants to go to anywhere in Atlanta, like preferably like the Buckhead area, and everything was booked. Everything. Okay, okay. <laughs> Everything was booked, y'all. So we ended up just deciding that like there's no shade to Red Lobster, but I did not want to take my wife to Red Lobster on Valentine's Day. Cause like I told people at work, if I gotta go to Red Lobster, I'm not paying for Red Lobster. I could make that at home probably just as good as Red Lobster. And I ain't even trying to trying to um brag. I ain't even trying to brag. So I make scallops pretty good, and Whitney loves scallops. That's like our favorite seafood. So I said, hey, let's just make some scallops at home. Um, I had already bought two lobsters from Aldi. Shout out to Aldi for them $9 lobsters. And um, I was gonna try to surprise her with that anyway, like the next day. So, change plans. We eating lobster and scallops for, for dinner tonight. I like Valentine's Day. It's one of my favorite holidays, because I get to just show a little, do a little extra for my wife. So, it's fine with me. I can't wait to show Whitney what I got her. <laughs> but look y'all what she got me. I got me some dark chocolate truffles. If you know me, you know I love me some chocolate. So I'm gonna tell you things up. In the comments below, tell us if you actually participate in Valentine's Day. Do you enjoy Valentine's Day or do you think it's just a made up crappy holiday? Um, I'm interested to know how people feel about it. All right, since tonight we're gonna not be recording, we're gonna just take some time for ourselves. Check out this video from last week when we went to the trampoline park with Asher. Once again, y'all, thank you for watching the videos and hope you have a fantastic Valentine's Day. Holla at y'all later. All right, you do it. Hey, good people. Welcome back to the vlog. We are at the trampoline park. Hopefully we can get this sleepy baby in here to play before, you know, nap time. Cause he looking like he's trying to zone out. Y'all ignore my messy car. I'm a teacher. I live here. <laughs> but let's get this party started. Get this party started. <laughs> What's up, y'all? His jacket's on your side. Oh boy, but the trampoline park we're going to is, it's called Get Air Trampoline Park. And it should be, this should be fun. <laughs> Yay. You ready for the trampoline park? <laughs> yes. Whoa, trampoline park. You gotta, uh -uh, you gotta sit back. <laughs> I 
feel like we need to trade because I think. Say hey, everybody. I take that little nose kick right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, that was fun, but somebody's sleepy, so it we was, gotta go. <laughs> yeah, but I think it was worth it. He had fun. I had fun watching. People without kids never will understand. Uh oh. Yeah, people without kids will never understand the value of those naps. When people like when people say, "Hey, y'all want to go somewhere?" and a, a new parent say, um, "No, nah, because that's gonna be about the time that the baby goes to sleep. That's his nap time." It's not an excuse. I promise you, it's not an excuse. Because if that baby don't stay on that nap schedule, it's it's a whole situation. So, please believe me when I say when people that are new parents. <laughs> trying to play with all the seatbelts. <laughs> <laughs> when new parents say that they can't go somewhere with their friends because of a nap time situation, please believe it's not an excuse just to not hang out. But yeah, we about to go put him down. He'll be asleep before we get to the house. And then we're gonna, well, I don't know. gotta eat lunch. Oh, he does gotta eat. Told you. <laughs> All right, y'all, we back at the house. This dude was knocked out on the way home. He's so sleepy. He's been sleeping in the the, the seat. Like he was just sitting here with, it was locking him in and he just passed out. He is so tired. Trampoline park did the job. So if you guys have a trampoline park in your neighborhood and a baby, <laughs> just go on and go in there. <laughs> it's it's worth the the what thirty dollars? Yeah, it was thirty for two of us. And don't judge us on our Christmas ornament still being on the floor. <laughs> it's a struggle. You ready for nap time? Uh uh. No. -uh. -uh. Yeah, he said uh uh. Oh, y'all heard that? We got it on tape now. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Uh, it is many days since <laughs> many days since um the last part of the, the first part of this video yeah i've been going to bed at like nine so nick ain't got nobody to talk to for like two hours at night he just <laughs> <laughs> he clawing at the walls he just want to talk to somebody he might be sick but it's true she leave me all alone for like most of the night i'm just down here by myself all alone but that's because I actually do work when I work. I don't know. Nick be like, yeah, you know, I just, I was sitting in meetings. I was like, oh, it must be nice to sit somewhere. I wish. She got a whole desk and chair. Anywho, y'all, so right after the trampoline park, the baby got sick again. Yeah, that um, was crazy. And so I had to go to urgent care with him Monday, Tuesday. Um, we just stayed home and monitored him. He was on some medicines. We wanted to make sure he was okay. Um, and you know, he's been pretty good. I took the advice of one of my coworkers. She said to use like a really cool, 
mist humidifier because his issue was his breathing and the congestion and running nose like pretty yeah, much a he, cold he could but barely breathe he had the croup and so it made all of it just worse like his coughing would wake him up his congestion was so bad it would wake him up like it was just it was the blues because we were up every couple of hours you know? mm -hmm. like we were zombies <laughs> what is croup anyway like that barking cough. No, I'm saying like, what is it? Is that just what it is? I think it's, I think it's like one of those RSVs, like just a respiratory virus. Oh, stay tuned for the reveal of the baby room that never, ever, ever happened. We. Wow, you went super cross-eyed there. I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look like Debo. <laughs> But it's, it's coming, y'all. Like, we didn't do a video of it because it's just, like, a piece here and there we put up and then go back to doing mama, daddy stuff and everything in between. So, And at first, I didn't I'm think he was, like, into his new decor because he cried the first night we put up. My mama <laughs> said he was he was mad. He said, who, who asked y'all to change my room? <laughs> Oh, look at her twist, y'all. Don't don't zoom in. They look rough. It's you just said y'all got my twist. But I, yes, from far away, they don't look that bad. So don't zoom in. But yes, guys, I have so much heat damage. It's unreal. It's just unreal. I'm, but you know what? I'm just going to live with it. That's some other videos that you could be doing. Hair videos. People got hair. You got hair. You do a hair video. I'll do a hair video. Okay. And my hair video will do better than yours. Okay. Yeah, it sure will, because I'm not doing one. <laughs> you can give people the secrets. People would watch your video of your hair videos, because they're like, oh, if I do what she did, my hair will grow like that. That's not true. We know that's not true, but they don't watched, know that's not I've true. I've watched tons of people's hair videos, <laughs> and my hair... People still hold on to that hope that it will. I had dudes in school when my hair was growing out and was like, oh, hey, please, let's not talk about hey, this. no, what you doing? No. And I was like, man, I just wake up in the morning. No. Thank you so much for helping us. Y'all know. Let's not step into the dark side. Oh, ain't no dark side. Y'all, Nick had <laughs> hair. Thank you, Jesus. I did not know him then. I had luxurious locks. They might as well just call me Samson. But thank y'all for watching the videos. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next one. And comment. Happy February? Happy Black History Month. Yes. Happy Black History Month, y'all. And we'll holler at y'all later. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to the videos. We'll holler at y'all later. Bye, guys. Bye.